how my zoom works. Oh, come on by. Oh, that looks like it flies nice. So you say you have to build in the down trim to keep, or? Well, usually you let the tail be a little bit, it flies usually with the tail a little bit low. Oh, okay. The, the real one did too, and this one used to be more than. Yeah, there's an interesting history on this plane. I'll let you guys do the research. Look for the description of it in my comments. Sorry yeah, about that. It's story on a little guy. jittery. I'm trying to zoom in, and when when and I he moved, never would let his kids, grandkids, great grandkids have a pilot's license. And finally, the great grandkid got one on the hundredth anniversary. And he took off and Ingram's gonna fly over the channel and he circled up and went in a death spiral and landed in a pond. <laughs> <laughs> Never did get to fly over the channel. I think when he landed this one they dropped the nose like he, he had a broken foot or something on it. Mm. But he's the first one over to the English channel in nineteen oh nine. So this plane dates back to 1909. 1909, he was the first one to fly the channel. He got the prize money and all that. And then he got filthy rich. He sold a lot of them. It'd be interesting to know what what the price tag was. Well, and it went 37 miles an hour over the channel. Any idea what what he sold them for? No. I don't think I ever looked that up. I may have I may have to do some research just to look at that because well, kind of hard to keep this stable whenever I got it zoomed in, so but I think it'll turn out to be a decent video. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you thought it was going to nose over, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I, I thought sure it was going to nose well, over. All mothers do. <laughs> really nice. Thanks for sharing that with us.